Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this Team of the Season player review. And in this video, we're going to be featuring ourselves our first Barclays Team of the Season player, which is Team of the Season Ramsey. Now, into this video, you guys can see I picked him up for 180,000 coins. He does have some really nice stats out there 89 shooting, passing, and dribbling and then also he's got high high work rates which I'll cover in the video and also three star skill moves and three star weak foot so in this video you guys will see pretty much I'm going to cover everything about him uh, give my rating at the end of the video pros and cons of him and in-game stats in just a second but look over there you guys can see I played nine games with him he scored 12 goals and even got us two assists now he's a really great player in my opinion I think he's probably one of the best center mids from the Barclays Premier League that I've used till today so getting into those in-game stats now now, the two I found really great with him overall for anyone who's a skiller or not a skiller is his 90 ball control and 92 dribbling. And the ball always stays very close to his feet. If you guys hold the left trigger when walking around with him, opponents will find it very difficult to tackle him. And if they do, you're most likely going to get a foul very quickly and most likely going to get a free kick or a penalty. Over there, you can see his free kick accuracy, 92. All those stats are so dark green. They're just incredible. If you guys ever tried last year in FIFA, uh, third in form bail. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This guy is an absolute monster. Ramsey is... If he played for Arsenal this season, you could just imagine what destruction he would have done if he didn't get injured. Now, he's got 98 long shots. Believe you me, guys, when you try his long shots, they are the most incredible things. And you're actually going to see some really great long shots from him. Also, you can see 99 penalties. And then with his shot power being 96, mixing in with the uh, 98 long shots, they do really go well with each other. And he's also got a very late dip. So anyone who likes to take long shots, you'll know about the late dip on the shot. And it's really, really something uh, when you see when you pull it off. Now, in terms of work rates, he does have a high, high work rate. And I more or less say you find him default as a CDM, as a team of the season card. Play him as a center mid because the high, high work rates work really well. He's a very good attackive player. And you'll find a lot of the time he will go back and defend very effectively. So utilize that to your advantage. Play him as a center mid and really get a nice use of all those stats together. In terms of physical attributes, you can see over there the main one I would really like to cover is the 83 strength because that is a key factor in a CDM or a defensive centre mid. And this guy is really good with that. He gets into a lot of tackles, always wins the ball, which was something I found very interesting and one thing I really enjoyed about using him because sometimes you find centre mids that don't really want to defend and he was one of those ones who really contributed for the team and really did a really great job. Now, in terms of mental attributes, you can see over there he's got 76 vision, which I would say I really never found him, I really didn't get that many long passes in, but more or less his short passing game was complete ace from what I found. So this is the team I actually put him around. You can see I've got Asaidi over there, Skiller, and the rest of the team over there with Lescott. And that, no, that wasn't, guys, a team of the season, Lescott. Um, I do know I did a pack opening earlier today, and I got trolled by EA, got uh, Sterling, who wasn't in form or team of the season. So that was, you know, a big boob on that side. But anyway, you guys can see over here, straight away looking at the gameplay, you can see his tackling is very strong, even his ball control, keeping the ball very close to his feet, and then his finishing immaculate stuff. The shot power really does play a great, um, great effect to him. And over here, you can see this going, pushing the ball forward a little bit. Look at that long shot, absolute crazy stuff from him. And I wanted to speed this bit up because this was part of the same game. You can actually see over there, the game did, my opponent did rage quit. So he does make a lot of opponents rage quit. You will notice that. You can see he's only got three star skill moves, but really effective with the roulette because the ball does stay close to his feet. Now, in terms of free kick stats and penalty stats, my free kicks, I found that he over hits them quite a bit because of his power. Even if you under put like one bar, he'll still hit it quite hard. So with free kicks, I'd say maybe a little bit powerful, but it's just about mastering it as time progresses. But uh, with penalties, 99 penalties, you're never really going to go wrong. You've got pretty much a maxed out player in terms of penalties. And it's very easy to just tuck the ball in the bottom or into the top either way. I like to send the ball at the bottom on occasions and then other occasions just top right. And over here, you can see going in with a roulette and he just finishes with the outside foot shot. He mainly more or less used the outside foot shot quite a bit and occasionally went on his weaker foot, but his weaker foot wasn't too bad. And you can see over there, the shot power as well after a couple simple skill moves and he does tuck it in. Now, in terms of curve, I believe he has 85 curve. So he does really put the ball in quite nicely. And I definitely say if you guys are going to try him out, you are going to have a really fun time with him. He's one player. Look at that. Just picking the ball off from the corner. And uh, over there, you can see he gets the ball in. Near post stuff, he will always finish them off. His shot power is so insane that really gives uh, goalkeepers no chance. And over there is passing as well. Now, 
In terms of crossing, because I'm covering everything, uh, his crossing was really good. It always gets to the player that you aim for. So definitely, I'd say um, if you guys just want him as a mainly a winger or in a 4-1-2-1-2 second formation, he'll be perfect for that. And you can see over here, this is just dribbling. Now I'm going to cover all the dribbling because I feel this is very important. Now with dribbling wise, you're going to mainly hold the left trigger with him if you guys are not going to be doing skill moves and just go in and out of players and then occasionally hold the right trigger to sprint forward and it just works so effectively. You can see how I'm literally taking off my opponents one by one and going in for the shots and really utilize that long shot guys i have to stress this this is something that was so simple with him you can see how, how you get through so many opponents defenses and then just go for the goal and it was just uh, just so much of fun now in terms of um you can see over there finesse shots more or less he always did the outside foot shot and uh, occasionally on the heading opportunity he would get quite a strong head onto it so wouldn't really be a worry for us now long shots over there you can see it caused a lot of problems. He always beat the keeper in terms of long shots. And if he didn't beat the keeper, it'd sort of just go wide of the post like that one over there. So not really anything to worry about too badly in terms of long shots. I'd definitely say if you're new to long shots and you've got around about 160k or maybe a little bit more, uh, definitely buy this player. He is something that I found really unique. And he's always going to be in my squad now because I decided I'm going to keep him. Uh, purely because he's just been the most fun player to use. Now, if you guys have any suggestions on other Team of the Season players you'd like me to review, uh, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try getting to them, provided I can afford them. Now, you guys can see over there the pros and cons, and he had so many pros. Very good long shots, very, very good dipping long shots, great defensively as a defensive player, excellent dribbling, ball was always at his feet, superior shot power, which you know, always pretty much went in the back of the net and very good strength, which I think is a key in any strong centre mid that plays defensively as well. Only weakness in the game that I found is out of the nine games I played, he got injured, tw I think it was two or three times. So be careful just in case he does pull up on an injury. But besides that, guys, I have to give him a 9.8 rating, which is the highest rating I've given till today. So yeah, Ramsey's been the absolute absolute most fun player to use in the game and I'm actually keeping him so hopefully you guys did enjoy this review by all means drop it a like if you have enjoyed it subscribe if you're new for more team of the season player reviews and this has been AVJV Gaming and I'll catch you all for the next video